let's talk about pronouns, which a lot of people are talking. Does that impact you at all? Do you care about that? Um, the spiritual side of me, God's word, and I'm a believer of the Bible. In his word, it tells you exactly what's right and wrong. They have to answer to him just as I do. So you're going in to see Trump speak now. Is, is there, do you see him as a good Christian? Um, what do we mean pronouns? Uh, I mean, there are only, there's an X and Y chromosome. Are we going against science? I, I'm not a science denier. Okay, so were you a vaccine supporter? Zero. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and Trump supporters are some of the dumbest people on the face of the earth, and I'll explain why. A reporter interviewed several people outside of a Trump rally to get cult members' opinions on various trending issues like pronouns, the COVID vaccine, and other people's sexuality. What about um, social issues, pronouns, things like that? Social issues. Oh, like, social issues. Pronouns and stuff? Like, uh, like uh, she's a she and she's a she. Are you yeah. she or he? Thank you. Are you a she? Yep. I'm a he. That's what I think about it. <laughs> what, if they said I'm, uh, what if they said I'm a they? I would say um, to they. What, where were you born as? A they or a you? That's the real question. Chick with a d or a chick with a p <laughs> It was not any surprise that every Jacqueline that was interviewed gave their own personal testimony of hate and misinformation in response to the questions presented. Trump rallies are a gathering place for conspiracy theories and hate-filled sound bites against the LGBTQ community and immigrants. Trump encourages his followers to be the worst that they can possibly be and embrace being ignorant. His followers seem to take pride in being stupid. Pronouns. How does that impact you? Uh, you know, either you, you got to or you don't. <laughs> you know what I mean? What is it about liberals in America that upsets you? As far as liberals, I would venture to say just the ones I've spoken to, and I have, they have no clue. They deny that... Um, uh, transgender things are going on. They deny it all. MAGA morons seem to have major issues with the LGBTQ population. They often portray gay and trans people in negative lights, often making up outrageous claims to justify their hate against those groups. Donald Trump appeals to a vague hatred in his followers. He stirs up a feeling in them that emboldens their illiterate arrogance and encourages them to lash out at things that they do not understand. Illiterate arrogance was on full display over pronouns. Why is it that these so-called Christians are so obsessed with someone else's sexuality? Why is it that they cannot act more like their Lord and Savior instead of a criminal who praises gangsters and dictators? What's the most dangerous thing happening in the country right now? That the kids are switching their gentle or their sexual things in, in like grade school and stuff like that. Do you think that's a lot of people that are doing it? One's too many. So, yeah, I got to say, yeah. But one, you know, not even if the child, you know, has a say in it, you know, just whatever the parent says or whatever the school does, you know. These clowns want to dictate what everyone else should be doing, but can't even put a coherent sentence together. These people are pathetic losers who can't come up with an original thought between them. Every one of these jackaloons are followers. They have to be told what to think and what to believe. Between the 80-year-old vaccine denier who doesn't believe in pronouns to the Bible-quoting numbskull who thinks pronouns go against the Bible, these jackaloons' combined IQ wouldn't even add up to 100. That's the problem with many Trump supporters, though. They think that they are experts in topics that they have no clue about. Trump supporters are very superficial. They are not fond of anything that questions their opinions that they base their beliefs on. Usually any type of questioning that pushes them out of their comfort zone is met with insults and personal attacks. They are unable to resolve the contradictions in their own belief systems and usually choose to compromise their ethics to justify their idiotic stances. Donald Trump loves the undereducated, and it's obvious why. He can speak to his followers on a third grade level, and they understand him. It's because they are as stupid as he is, and that is an absolute fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.